You know, I take a lot of my design inspiration from embracing that relationship between nature and technology and like going outside of the studio, getting around to different places and being exposed to different things. Using new tools and technology and having that kind of sometimes inspire what the design will be or some feature of the design. You kind of never know exactly where the inspiration will come from every time, but you kind of have those places you go to to kind of spark those ideas. We're designing 3D products. We should be exploring ideas in a more 3D sort of way. A big part of a designer's job is communicating their ideas as clear as possible. They were communicating to so many different types of people and they all kind of have their own ways of translating our designs. And sometimes there's a lot of misinterpretation or a misunderstanding of what something is. And that's where 3D plays an interesting role. You're getting what you're seeing basically. There's not a much interpretation there. Having quality 3D assets can remove the need for tedious blueprint drawings and section views. That can be sometimes uh, very difficult and time consuming to put together. It can save a lot of time and money on rounds of samples and prototypes. So this is like a really interesting brief and it was kind of cool because I had the full like creative freedom to design something with my own personal like aesthetic, but mixing it in with the gravity sketch, like their mission and their ethos. In the early talks, I was meeting with Danielle and Shay and talking to them about like gravity sketch and why they started it and how it's become what it is. And like intuitiveness, physicality, immediacy were a lot of the words that come up, like some of the ethos about the brand. And it was just like a really cool opportunity to take those different things and and kind of merge it with my aesthetic and create an actual shoe. The goal of this was use Gravity Sketch literally at every single phase from getting the brief all the way to working with the factory to get a sample. We've been seeing over and over again like really cool designs and work coming out of the, the customers that we service all the way through to production. The extent to which a lot of our customers have taken the workflow was really incredible to us. We just couldn't show any of that. It's all proprietary stuff to our clients. And so what we wanted to do was kind of take that workflow that we observed and package it into something that we can share externally, publicly, and other people can consume, learn from, and then maybe pattern some of their workflow off of. You'll notice there's a few different steps in the workflow. Um, and the cool part about this is we use Gravity Sketch at every step. So if you notice, we, we started with that early sketching, or Joey did, and we moved into ideation and then modeling. And then what did that look like at handoff and then furthermore to, to communication? But what was really cool was to watch Joey sort of generate these ideas really quickly and then be able to overlap those ideas before he even got into a surfacing phase. In the ideation phase, you know, I'm able to bring in some rough doodles and sketches from photos or screenshots. I can bring in the last, I can bring in any inspiration images and and just start building these wireframes and start envisioning how like, you know, the main lines of the, the shoe are gonna look like the overall silhouette, you know, even solve problems here and proportions and, and all that kind of stuff. It's already kind of set up for a 3D surfacing to have a 3D model. We are all here today in the first sketch review for the collaboration project with Joey Camus and Gravity Sketch creating a factory production shoe. All right, Joey, go ahead. Kick us off. One of the first things we noticed was that having a design review in a 3D space in a collab with Gravity Sketch the sketch review became super immersive and interactive. My sketches consisted of 3D concepts and wireframes and like some loose surface design. Experiencing these sketches with Joey in the space was really powerful. And, and you can see all of these models and designs that he cranked out super quickly. Um, and then on top of that, being able to actively like review and ideate with him was a really powerful tool as well. This is probably the most collaborative review session I've ever had because everybody was able to be in there like drawing together, kind of talk through with Joey and be able to understand his intention behind every single little piece, um, which just gave us a lot more of an understanding of his design intent at a really early stage. Joey, this has been great. Thanks so much. This is like yeah, amazing. Yeah, super I, awesome. I, I, like I said, I didn't expect to come into this session with like fully fledged models. We all kind of like aligned with this one concept and then functionality we pulled from different different concepts. Tying it back into those like gravity sketch ethos of the 
the intuitiveness, the immediacy, and the physicality. I wanted to design the shoe to be more of a slip on something without laces, something that's quick and more intuitive way of putting something on your foot. Once we had the design, the first concept done and ready, it was time to hand it off to the factory. We also wanted to, again, keep it all in Gravity Sketch and VR. So we handed off the tech pack in a 3D space, something that was viewable in virtual reality or on the desktop. Your tech pack is quite clear. <laughs> Oh, good. And wow. Complete. I'm really awesome. happy to hear that. So everything that we always need in terms of uh, texture and etc. is quite, I would say, clear. We were kind of experimenting as we were doing this. So you can see sort of this like 3D tech pack that we built out in Gravity Sketch. Um, and not only did we share Gravity Sketch files with the factory, we also shared Rhino files. The factory was really quick to see parts of Joey's model that would and wouldn't work. So within that tech pack process, giving them the 3D file instead of these 2D blueprints, they were able to sort of visualize those things and give us quick feedback. This was done in a separate piece in EVA, this thing with also contracts. So it will be even worse. So if this was separate, it cannot be EVA. If we were to make this as a TPU, um, that would sol that would resolve those issues of the distortion and size and... Um, it would. Yeah. It okay. will solve those problems, yes. The factory loved it. They were able to see everything in one place kind of organized. They were able to see different models explaining different parts of it. And then also just having those 3D files, the exact references of, of what they need to make. We have a saying in Portuguese is Quem conta um conta acrescenta um ponto. So every time someone says a story, adds something or removes something. Traditionally, we receive 2D files and these 2D files are just sometimes creative drawings, so they don't have any specifications. Or sometimes they do have specifications like some measurements or anything but when we translate this to 3d actually it's hard because you know the uh, the scale and the proportions don't fit those measurements or the last has a different pitch and we have to alter it doesn't have enough thicknesses so we end up having a product that is not exactly the designer's view because we have to adjust all of this things. With Gravity Sketch it was completely different because we already knew that was the vision, that was the 3D, it was already done. We are speaking the same language, we can make the adjustments from one side and enjoy it as on his side. And it was fairly easy, for example, I said, okay, see this angle, we cannot go that much, we need to reduce a little bit or something like that. And then the joy just spot on, okay, let's do it. It was much, much easier. It could comply to the designer's vision and also save me a lot of time. Overall, I think one of the most important things that we found from this session with the factory is that because we were able to have such a more quick back and forth conversation of why they think we need to make changes, but also meet my design needs, we were able to have like dozens and dozens of revisions within a half hour session, which led to... This is the first sample that we received. I think everything turned out really great, at least at so far where we're at. The fact that this was the first sample and it felt much more finished and detailed and like exactly what I, what I was envisioning, uh, which often doesn't happen this early. So to summarize all that, this new workflow was more intuitive and collaborative. There's months of time to be saved by implementing 3D into your process where it makes sense. And there's also less misinterpreted communication with the factory.